Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So I hope that you must have watched my previous video on Comet C 2022 E3 ZTF where a generalized information regarding this comet was shown and how we can see this comet and how we can track this comet with the help of phone by using stargazing application was also discussed. Okay, so in this video I am going to discuss in detail that how to see this comet from India, what is the best date and what is the best time to see this comet and what parameters you need to keep in mind when you want to see this comet. Although this comet is going to be visible throughout the world, but I am going to talk in terms of India. Okay, so I request you to watch the whole video and do skip it up to end so that all your doubts get cleared. And before that, if you are not subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel and like and share this video for more updates on astronomy, astronomical events and smartphone astrophotography. So without wasting much time, let's begin the video. So friends, first we will see the details regarding the live location and the timing of this comet. At present, the comet is visible in the early dawn skies. That is from 4.30 am to 6.30 am and after some time the comet will also visible throughout the night sky up to the morning that is from 28 January onwards the comet can be seen in the night sky up to the morning ok so today is 28 January and I am using this site called the skyvela.com to show the live location and to track the live location of the comet you can also use this site it is very easy to use and in the later part of this video only, I will show you that how to track the comet with the help of phone by using the stargazing application. So today is 28th January and the comet is close to the Boots constellation and it will remain in the Boots uh, for on the 21st January also. And after 21st, it will start, uh, I will, it will pass to the Draco constellation. You can see that as I'm changing the date, the location of the comet is also changing in this sky map. Okay, so after 25th January, the comet will pass through the Ursa Minor constellation. Okay, so up to 28th, it will be in the Ursa Minor, and I will change the time so that uh, you can get to know that it is also visible in the night sky. Also, okay, so on 28th January onwards, it will be visible from night sky up to the morning. So after Ursa Minor, the comet will pass through the Camelopardalis constellation, and on 1st and 2nd February. The comet will be closest to earth and the brightness of the comet is said to be increased on that time duration when it is close to earth. So this is the best time period to see the comet and after uh, some time the comet will pass through the Aurica constellation that is from 4th February onwards and then it will pass through the Taurus constellation and it will exit our solar system after some time. Okay. So as I said earlier that currently that is up to 28th January the comet will be visible in the early dawn skies and after that it can be seen from the night sky up to the morning period. Okay, So this was about the live location and the timing of this comet. Now I will sh show you that how to see the comet and what parameters we need to keep in mind when we want to see the comet. Okay, So let's see the parameters that we need to keep in mind when we want to see the comet. See. First thing is that we need to be under darker skies for a good observation of the comet and that is essential. Okay, so for that we have to use this site called light pollution map which shows the border scale of a particular location. Okay, border scale is a 9 level numeric scale that shows the light pollution or the sky's brightness of a particular location. Bottle 1 represents the darkest skies while bottle 9 represents the brightest skies. So if you want to see the comet then you need to be under bottle 1 to bottle 4 skies. Now, how we can find the bottle scale? For that, I have made a detailed video on my channel and uh, I have shown that how to find the bottle scale of a particular location of a, or of our location or how we can find the darkest skies around our surrounding. The link to that video is given in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it. Okay. So first thing is about the darkest skies. Second thing is that how we can see the comet. See, at present the comet is not visible naked eye. But according to some researchers and dark sky experts, the comet may get visible to naked eye under darker skies from on February 1st to February 2. Okay, because the comet is expected to make its closest approach on February 1st and February 2nd. And the comet's brightness is expected to increase during that time duration. So it will be the best time duration to see the comet. But it is not so that we cannot see the comet before to that. You can see the comet from 21st to 28th January in the early dawn skies with the help of a telescope or a binocular. Okay, so you need to use either a binocular or a telescope to see the comet from that duration. And after 28th January, the comet will start to come close to the earth 
and it may get visible naked as i said earlier on first or second february but uh, the comet will be visible throughout the night sky after 28 january up to uh, the morning okay so you can see the comet from that time duration and one more thing i want to tell that on 21st january it is new, new moon okay that is tomorrow so that is the best time because the sky will be dark as moon will not be there but on 1st and 2nd february remember this thing on 1st and 2nd february the moon will be in the sky and it will be of around 11th or, uh, 10th or 11th day moon okay and the illumination of the moon will be 85% so we have to wait until the moon sets below the horizon or it completely goes off below the horizon okay because what will happen that when the moon will be in the sky then it will the brightness of the moon will create a problem in our view to see the comet even if you will be using a binocular then it may be problematic to see the comet so once the moon has set we can see the comet okay that moon will set after 3:30 am on 1st february and it will set ar around uh, uh, 4 or 4:15 am on 2nd february so you can see the comet after that that is uh, your time in the early dawn skies okay so this is regarding the parameters that we need to keep in mind to see the comet now we will see that how to track the comet with the help of phone by using the stargazing application so at present i am using this stargazing application called sky tonight to find the live location of the comet okay this application is available on the play store and the link to download this application is given in the description below see it has already shown the location but i will show that how to uh, track it step by step okay on the upper side you can see that date time and year is shown and on the lower side some options are shown so first thing is that we have to set the location okay of our area so for that you have to click on the first option from right side and then you have to proceed with settings then general settings and location that is the first option okay you can set the location by three method first is is a auto detect option that is use device location okay that is a auto detect option second is by searching your name of city or surrounding and third is by setting the coordinate so this is the three method by which we can set the location after location is set we have to come back to the initial point that is the sky map and now we have to search for comet so we have to click on the magnifier option on the uh, left side that is the first option on the left side and we have to type of the type the name of the comment that is c slash 2022 e3 ztf in the search bar okay see it has shown already and then we have to click on it and then we have to click on this uh, blue colored option on the bottom right side and it will show the live location of the comment see it has already shown it so this is how we have to find the comet in the sky now we have to navigate through different time and different dates so you have to click on this upper uh, option and then you can change the date and it will show the location you can also uh, go forward and backward with the help of this timer option okay so as uh, i am scrolling it the bar you can see that it is showing the live location of the comet and it is also showing that it is passing through which uh, constellation and the time is also shown set this is uh, the location at 3 am 4 am 5 am 6 am 7 am and so on see the path of the comet is exactly shown in the application okay so as i said uh, that after 28th the comet will be visible in the uh, night sky th i mean throughout the night sky up to the morning see it is already visible uh, let me show you can see over here that the comet is visible throughout the night sky after 28 january up to the morning okay so this is how we have to track the comet and if you want to uh, have much uh, detail uh, and if you want to know much about the comet then you can also read this data see uh, in the info part you can read the data and you can also learn about its position with the help of this graph okay and in event section you can see the magnitude as well as the closest approach see this is the closest approach and when you will click on closest approach you can see that the date and time is set uh, to the closest approach and 
as I said that the comet will be close to the Camelopardalis constellation on February 1st and February 2nd. Okay, so this is how we have to track the comet and uh, I hope that this stargazing, I mean the tutorial of this stargazing application will be beneficial to you to see this comet. Okay, so this was about tracking the comet with the help of phone. So let's see the details regarding photographing the comet. See, when Neowise was visible in the 2020, it was that much close to Earth that some of the young amateur astronomers photographed the Neowise with the help of their smartphone only. But this comet is not expected to come as close as Neowise was. But if I get successful in photographing the comet with the help of phone, then I will surely set the details on my Instagram handle. This is my Instagram handle and I will also uh, share the link to my Instagram ID in the description below. Okay, so you can contact me. But if you have got a good camera and a good focal length lens, then you can still photograph it. One of my friends has already photographed it from Gandhinagar, which is a bottle 6 sky area. This is the image that he has captured. And I have also mentioned his Instagram ID and his name. Okay, so you can contact him. And regarding the uh, live location of the comet on daily basis, Stargazing India is also uploading the live location of the comet on their Instagram handle that is on their stories of Instagram. Okay, so you can contact them also if you want to uh, see the live location of the comet every day. So this was regarding the photographing and live location of the comet. And I hope that after watching this video, you are now clear that how we have to see this comet throughout the India and how we have to track it with the help of phone as well as by using uh, the site on uh, Google okay so I hope that you are now clear regarding it and I wish you are clear and dark guys thank you for watching this video and please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on astronomy astronomical events and smartphone astrophotography